Hello. And welcome back to the one hunt. Today. We're back with If My Heart Had Wings Flight Diary. I don't know why I'm doing the intro like this. I'm level 31 now. See how over level I'll get by the time I stream again. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, uh here we are. Um we're going Hotaru now. What should like be start starting at a point slightly in Agia's route? And that's why Agia doesn't actually have a route. And I'm just complete gonna be completely fucking confused. <laughs> The surface of the lake was rippling with waves while sparkling in the sunlight. Below, a thick carpet of grass was gently swaying in the breeze. White objects slipped into view, gracefully buffeted by the wind. A machine of pure white, brimming with a power all of its own. The runway was clear. We shouted out signals, clearing the glider for takeoff. Couldn't help tensing up a little. The time had finally come. The winch pull cable pulled taut. The frame began to move, gathering speed. The next moment left the green grasses of the earth behind and soared into the wild view, wild blue yonder. <sighs> the crane my neck up, and I could see were those white wings rising into the sky. The wind took them right over the lake, going higher and higher. The pilot adjusted the angle of the wings and began to circle back. So the glider bob and weave, stark and shining against the sky. Leveling out, it caught another breeze and started rising again. It was so high, it was almost unreal. At this rate, it looked like it might just keep going further and further across the vast, beautiful sky. It's so pretty. Inexpressible emotion, Hotaru. Agia's voice called me away from the sky and back down to earth. ほんと良かった。表情も顔の上げ方も最高。文句なし。ただ風がね。もうちょっとこう噛みやすかとか棚引いてくれると完璧だったんだけど。別撮りして合成するのはどうですか？それは最後の手段ね。まだ時間はあ
So apparently, <laughs> apparently, there is supposed to be an Ageha route in Flight Diaries. However, more novel struck it from the Steam release because it's basically just one singular like threesome H scene with the Hime Himeki sisters. So this is its own route. <laughs> <laughs> Could you use me, why don't you? JK. But since the skies were so calm in spring and there was no wind, that wasn't really an option. Instead, we were making a video. A video to show off the very best of sewing club experience. This time of year, the lush greenery and clear skies were just begging to be filmed. I figured it would be the perfect time to get some footage that would really entice new members for the next year. So, this is the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the This was like a part time job for me. Aga asked me to mod for the video. I was supposed to watch the glider in the sky and look impressed. Originally, Aga and Kotri both wanted to play this part. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. But after some discussion, it was decided that using someone who isn't already a member would make the club more accessible. So in the end, they asked me to do it. Wiped aside some sweat. Technically, it was almost fall, but the sun was still just as intense as it had been in height of summer. I got fanned her face with her hands. So that the top is how? The top is cold, but it's warm. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Agia, he's basically sitting in a glorified hot box right now. Like, <laughs> believe it or not, but up in there, all I can say is that he probably feels pretty hot, Aru. I hate myself, and I will. F mm. You know, maybe I should grab my axe from upstairs in the fucking greenhouse and chop off my dick so I can leave me as to, you know, get rid of even the slightest chance of my spawn entering this world, because that's not going to be good for that for anyone. <sighs> I mean, I do have a butcher's axe, so. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> the glider continued to roll and turn, gradually getting bigger as it came into the land. Agas and Yoru detached themselves from the camera crew and went into action, each one of them knowing exactly what to do. I just stood and watched. It was all I could do. Watched as the glider approach, approached, bringing Aoi back down to the ground. The view outside canopy started to change from sky to land, and soon enough I made contact with the ground. It was the initial shock of impact, followed by lots of shaking afterwards. I could feel myself decelerating. I knew I was back on solid ground, it was comforting to have someone underneath me again. Didn't get the same sense of stability in the air. You just didn't get the same sense of stability in the air. <sighs> Coming to a complete start, but he would sigh of relief. Landing safely had taken all of my concentration, but now I could finally relax. A little. Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Can I get a countdown? I counted down the last three seconds in my head. On zero, I released the canopy lock. Quickly moved her head, allowing the wind to play with her long hair. Film club students began shooting, capturing Kotri in this poignant, poignant pose from all kinds of different angles. 
We were shooting for a promotional video we planned to use next spring. My guy pulled some strings and got some people from the film club to help us out. As you'd expect students from an engineering school like ours, they all handled their equipment like seasoned pros. Of course, they weren't doing it for free. We'd have to return the favor and help them with some of their activities too. Apparently, they were all eager to get footage of the glider in action. It's flattering, really. How could we say now? For me, whenever I saw the glider in the sky, I could barely take my eyes off it. I wanted to share that feeling with others. That's where the promo video came in. Mm, I almost did not read promo there for a second. <laughs> you think that's enough now? Kotori smoothed her hair back while I climbed down out of the cockpit. Here we go. With everyone's help, we pushed the glider to another spot. Once there, we brought over Kotori's wheelchair and, and prepared to move her into it. That made for even better shots. I wasn't posing! This is normal for me. I guess somebody must have been nervous around the cameras. ここ<笑><笑> いいと思います。ダメよ、朝ちゃん。人不足性薬品みたいに言わないでくれる。あはははは。まったくもう。ああ、マシュスタートアゲンフォーサムファッキングリーズンヘルプ。そうじゃ、おい。人休みしたらも
Yeah, Austin Yoda took their turns. Somehow they convinced the film club to lend them a camera so they could shoot from the air. Sure. Tilt the glider's wings. His new angle gave us a wide spreading view of both the lake and the Kazagawara townscape. Picture's that clear? Okay, probably didn't mean anything by that, but it made me worry a little. In front of me, the sky lit up with colors as the sun started to sink below the horizon. Sure. Film Club greeted Kotri with a round of applause. What can you do? What can you do, right? Kotri and I climbed in the cockpit. We've been shooting since noon, but none of the film crew showed any signs of getting tired. We were getting ready for takeoff. Otro came closer to the runway than she had all day. Are you worried about us? We're fine, trust me. We've done this plenty of times before. Thanks. It's cute the way she worried about us. Okay, let's get going. Sure. Sky may be beautiful, but it could be plenty dangerous too. <sighs> we might, have, might have seemed a little overcautious with our constant safety checks, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Not that I wasn't going to enjoy this twilight ride to, to the fullest. Under Agia's direction, we got the glider into the position and had a smooth takeoff. In this light, the place looked completely different. The lake, lake and the town now wrapped in shadows. Got it. I caught a thermal to bring the glider higher and then set out on the course Aga had described. Make sure to keep in contact with everyone on the ground. This time of the day, the shadows can play tricks and put you off your game. The dying light wouldn't last long, so I knew I had to show the film club the best possible landing for the final shoot of the day. There goes nothing. The canopy opened to reveal Kotri done this so many times today already that she knew exactly what to do. She struck a dramatic pose. Hi, cut! Why didn't you become the director here? Aga turned away in mock outrage. Kotaro reappeared riding a bicycle. The basket on the front was full of plastic bottle, uh, drink bottles, clearly fresh from the fridge and still dripping with condensation. Just looking at them was enough to cool me down. She must have run off to get him while Kotri and I were in the air. The film club was packing up their equipment, but they welcomed the chance to take a break and quench their thirst. What have you got? Scant the rapidly diminishing selection of drinks that hadn't been claimed already. Nothing really piqued my interest. Ooh, let's see. I wonder if there was anything new I could try. Some with tropical fruits, maybe? No, he's resting on the muddy looking milky orange liquid. Everyone else had been giving it a wide berth, but I just couldn't resist anything new. Plus, there were two of them. Maybe we could get away with taking both. <laughs> Otru had been standing by, idly watching the drinks disappear. She hadn't taken one yet, by the looks of it. Otru, which one do you want? 
You're the one who brought him. Uh, you're the one who bought him. So no, no one's gonna resent you for taking your first choice, you know. Oh, there were two bars of, my, of the milky orange stuff I just picked out for myself. I'll take this then. Kotori arrived and just in time to grab a drink. Sure, there you go. It wasn't easy for her. It wasn't easy for her to get close enough to reach into the basket, but with her wheelchair and all. And Kotori wanted the milk beef colored bottles. <laughs> Smiling aptly, she twisted open the lid. Sorry, I was thinking I could use you as my guinea pig. Fine. I opened the bottle and take and gulp. Somehow we both took our first sips at exactly the same time. Wow, what's surprisingly good. So many fights, flights in a row, the strong sweet flavor was just the right thing to re-energize me. It's actually not too bad. え、それこの前試したけどさ、微妙。そりゃまあ、青井は好きそうだなってホタルと言い合ったけどさ。うん?あんた、また選んでないのやっ。私、どれでもいいから、そう言ってる間にみんなに全部持ってかれて、物陰
Sure. You gave the ground a little kick. Still no pain in my knee. Must have been imagining it before. Ie ga toremashita. Arigatou gozaimasu. Kochira koso. Ii sozai wo arigatou. Otagai, ii mono o tsukurimashou ne. Kotori shifted into club leader mode and exchanged some closing pleasantries with the camera crew. Sore ja, hiki agemasu ka. We disassembled the glider and loaded the parts onto the trailer. Minna, otsukare. Amane senpai, kite ton desu ne. Fusha no ken de chikaku ni kitan da. Kimi tachi ga tonderu no mo miete ta zo. Te o futta kedo mo mieta kana. Aoi mieta? Sorry, I wasn't really paying much attention to the ground. Dokka doga checku shite mi yokka. Utsutte ru kama. I'm kind of curious, but we should probably call it a day for now. I'm getting hungry, and I need to fix dinner, dinner for the dorm. That looks so glum. I know what you're thinking, and we'd be glad to have you over. Sure, but you're gonna have to help. Hotaru had withdrawn from the group like she was trying to sneak away. Join us, Otaru. You may not be a club member, but you did a great job modeling for the video. Video, we'd be happy to have you. So, so, on to go quiet to, but I know you go to you are it, no. So, let on, oh, oh, nay, some money may work, car get I know, Cassida. So, they were he come up. Hahaha, you see, they were so called chain, the Otagai no Hidari de Kubio Musunde. Oh, come on. This is no time for some kind of chain death match. Seriously, Amane and Age Ageha are already coming. One more mouth to feed won't make that much of a difference. It just means I'll have to cook more, so I'll be counting on you to do your part in the kitchen. <laughs> there we go. Aya was the only one Hotaru never pulled her punches around. That was sisterly love for you. Ah, so let's go. Come on, man. Do a data up. Push it up. Yo, Leo, no passcode. Cast it. Ne. So, let's see. Everyone, see. Yo. Sounds like fun. You return to the dorm. Everyone chatted, joking like you were. You only got dinner ready. Whoops. The chopsticks flew into action. I hadn't realized quite how much of an appetite I'd worked up from those repeated flights. Ah, so do you know? Thank you, you get about to be tight to Koroda Kedo. Forecast says there'll be some wind, but dealing with that should be good practice. So, yeah, I still could, eh? You should come too, Otaru. Feel bad for getting, not getting a chance to take you up today. Don't be so shy. Put my hand on Otaru's head and ruffle her hair a little. Coming tomorrow, right? Showing people what gladding is all about is part of the story of the club's MO anyway. It's all, it all works out. So, you coming by would actually help us with our club activities. What do you say? I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight if I don't get an answer. There, that wasn't so bad. You're welcome. I actually said thanks for my, after I've shown you a great flight. The flight's not officially over until we touch down on the runway. わかった。楽しみにしてる。おお、先輩らしいこと言ってる。まあ、当然のここだけよね。ホタル、あんた熱出すんじゃないわよ。楽しみにしてることの前にワクワクしすぎて熱出すの。しょっちゅうだったよね
It was the next day. Looked out my window and saw only gray, rainy skies. What a drag. Turned on my laptop and looked up the day's forecast. Hey, I'll get morning. Looks like it, uh, looks like the days are now good. I looked at the forecast right now, and I don't think it's gonna get any better. I guess we should consider ourselves lucky. We'll have to call off today's flight and use the day to look through the video, video footage. Let the others know. I'll let the others know. And... Tell all through sorry for me, okay? Please don't. I give a wry laugh and hung up. No flights today, huh? Might get some clear spells, but given this chance of strong winds or rain blowing in, it wasn't worth the risk. Felt like I'd let Hotru down, but it wasn't like weather was something you could control. I take her up another time when conditions were better. Gotta get started. Even without the promise of flight, I have house mother duties to attend to. I was starting to think about breakfast when someone was right on my knee. Every time I moved, there was this oh, pain exactly, just a dull feeling that didn't belong there. Maybe the humidity had set it off. But then I tried to stretch my leg and nothing was wrong. And it all been my, in my head. I feel like if two days in a row you have this like odd dull feeling in your knee, you should at least be careful with it. Now that I knew it was going, wasn't going gliding today, I headed over to Wendy's to do some shopping. <laughs> I hefted up my fully packed grocery bags. Basics like veggies and rice I could get delivered, but I figured I should pick up some other supplies under my own steam. Considering how many people I had to cook for, the bags got pretty heavy. Lugging them back to the dorm would be good exercise. Huh? Ah! That was the pain in my knee again. It was not that intense, you could still walk just fine. It was more an annoyance than anything. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Like, I have off... It's not that big of an... A, like overstatement when I say that at all times at least something on my person hurts <laughs> but it's always like just this mild pain where it's just like uh is an annoyance like uh, for example uh this finger when I like try to like twist something has like a very mild pain which is just like mmm this isn't like enough to make me not do it, but by God, it's pissing me off. Once again, huh? Wasn't the same sensation as yesterday when I'd gone to pick up that plastic bottle. That was when it all began. It was the same sensation as yesterday when I'd gone to pick up that plastic bottle. That was when it all began. I was just glad it didn't hadn't happened during a flight. Being distracted by the pain in the air could have turned it to a serious problem. But me, it was relieved no one else knew about it. Wouldn't have wanted everyone to worry. Only best to stick a warm compress on it when I get back. Got back. Maybe I dropped by the drugstore. Huh? What through? What's she doing? Oh, wait. Sorry for not saying hi. You guys would just missed each other. If I'd known, I wouldn't have loaded myself up with all this stuff. Nah, I can't make you do that. Seriously, it's fine, I can handle it. Though, if you don't mind me being a little late to the store, it'd be pretty nice if you could keep me company on the way back to the dorm. If you don't mind being a little late to the store. <laughs> Looked really cute just now. Pat your head right now, but my hands are full. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Like, I'd pat your head if I could, but you know, both hands are full. Give me one of your backs! <laughs> Overcome with emotion, Hotru dived right into me. Oh, hey, calm down. They're too heavy. 
not again. My foot went down at an angle and the pain Mommy. came back. Prop myself up and noticed a faint medicinal smell. Oh, that's right, I put a compress on my leg the previous night. Sat up straight and gently lowered that l lowered that leg to the floor. Still hurts a little. Wasn't enough to stop me from walking, but I should probably avoid putting too much weight on it. It wasn't. It was a weekday, so I'd still have to go to school. Maybe I could get the nurse's permission to skip gym for a couple of days. If you're, if you can't properly put your put weight on your leg. You didn't need a nurse's permission to just not participate in gym class in my school. Like, if it's literally just like, oh, hey, you start feeling pain, then, okay, just sit it out. When it st stops hurting, you can join in again. Like, if it's already, like, a known thing, then you had to bring in the... Like a permission slip from the doctor. But basically, the way it was handled was, okay, you go there, you have pain, like you sit out. If it's bad enough to go to the doctor for it, just bring the fucking thing. We were really lax with that, thinking about it. Huh. Huh. It's okay, uh. Hello, what's up? It's really early. <laughs> I don't say stuff like that, it'll, it'll bring back luck, bad luck. <laughs> yeah. In the end, Hotaru had convinced me to let her carry some of my bags back to the dorm. The rain wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it was. But it still made it hard for us to strike up any kind of cheery con conversation. Hotaru looked about ready to burst into tears the whole time. I assured her I was fine and lent her an umbrella as thanks, but she must have... Still been worried. A little. I should be fine if I take it slow for a couple of days. But I didn't catch cold or anything, did you? That's a relief. I see. Huh? What? Resignation! I could imagine a giant cartoon question mark popping up above my head. <笑>うん、自費を。私、姫木ホタルはこの度、一心上の都合により長らくお世話になりましたけめぎ家を離れ。わあ、わあ、わあ、バックアップ that's not the issue here! She probably copied it from a bunch of... Oops. That was still her line. It's just not voiced for some reason. The fuck? <laughs> you know, that's not what I mean either. Has she really run away? How can you be so laid back about it? Which room? Wait, wait, I have no idea what you're talking about. I feel like we're talking about two completely different things here. That's what I thought, but... Okay, stop. That's the part I'm having trouble with.
Show me? What the? Feeling a chill run down my spine. I jerked my head around. Uh, just the wall. Had my bike. A door. I got up and walked over to the door. Turned the knob and slowly opened it. Okay. Huh? On the other side was Hotaru. She was kneeling down in a form of posture. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah? With that, I got hang up, hung up. That left me to deal with Hotaru on my own. She remained motionless in the corridor. She looked up at me, carefully keeping her face completely expressionless. Okay, that does not look expressionless to me. There's no need for that master stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's great. No. I was finally starting to understand what was going on. What the fuck was that? You uh, came over to help me out because you were worried about my leg, right? Hotaru's voice was cried, but I could see a flare of determination in her cute round eyes. Hey, I'm happy for the attention and everything, but it's not, really not bad enough to interfere with my day-to-day -day life. I just misjudged a step yesterday. It wasn't that anybody's fault. It wasn't going anywhere. The point is, my leg is totally fine. To be honest, it did still hurt a little. But if Otru knew that, it would only make things worse. Still kneeling, Otru scooched forward. But now, she brought her face right up to my leg. A little too close. This is awkward. Her head bobbed slightly as she sniffed all around me. She was acting like some kind of guard dog. Yeah, I put a compress, compress on it. Yeah, but that was yesterday. It's okay now, I promise. Gave the floor a little kick to demonstrate. Okay, that hurt. See, cut his nail. I did my best to put on a brave face. Felt like those eyes of hers were looking right through me. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I have got to convince myself that was the truth. It's fine, don't need for you to worry over me. Say all through, uh. No, no, so buggy. Oh, great, the worst possible person to walk in at, m at a moment like this. You could already see how this was going to turn out, and I didn't like it. No, 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 don't get the wrong idea. This isn't what it sounds like. <laughs> Kanoko looked back and forth between me and Hotaru. As she did so, her face lit up. A smirk started to spread across her face. Kanoko, before you say anything, just listen. Hotaru's entire being seemed to quiver with a sense of purpose. Mm. Worry. I sat with Kanako while I met. She sat with Kanako while I made breakfast, but the whole time she never took her eyes off me. Yep, it's fine. Well, that kick may have been a bad idea. I felt. Faint tingling pain have been spreading through the whole my whole leg since then. Not that I was going to tell Hotaru that. She still looked like she'd break into tears at the slightest provocation. I could just convince her none of this was her fault and get her to go home. I could take what time to properly recover. Anyhow, it's great. No pain here. What have you been doing? Nothing to see here. Go get dressed. 
それがねおはようございますってあら<笑>面白いことになってるのよ Don't spread any rumors. 先輩足痛むんですか No, I, I didn't. My leg is fine. So, you know, ちょっと引きずってなかった He just, like, imagine this is like a rolling pin for baking or something. Like, he suddenly grabs it, like. <laughs> just stares her down. <clears throat> Yesterday was a long time ago. You'd be surprised what a good night's sleep can do. Gee. Not this again. I turned my attention back to breakfast, more desperate than ever to mask any outward signs of pain. Oh, I'm going to beat you! Man, what bad idea! I had a feeling it was going to turn out like this wet. Way all of, they turned out this way all along, no matter what I did. <laughs> that was that look of resolve in Otru's eyes again. Okay, okay, it hurts just a little! Maybe it would be best to just come clean and tell them the whole truth. It's nothing to worry about. It's on the same level as a slightly twisted ankle or something. Hi. It's not even worth calling an injury. It may be a little uncomfortable, but it's not going to stop me from walking or anything. Hi. It'll heal up in a couple of days. It is nothing for you to feel responsible for. Hi. So. What do you mean? That's that self praise there. Now let's get something straight. <laughs> you don't have to be that enthusiastic about shutting me down. Hey, I think you're forgetting who's in charge of this dorm? You can't do that! What? That doesn't make this okay! Listen, this is no longer your route, so beating the shit out of you is no longer domestic violence! <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> I have no idea where that one came from. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck? <sighs> sure, you too. We're gonna have a serious talk about this later. You don't need to do that. It's fine. This is my job. Otter remains steadfast, determined to do what she now thought of as her duty. Again. I hadn't seen her that serious in a long time. Somehow her expression was enough to silence my protests. <clears throat> I left the rest of the cooking to the Himigi sisters. Their skills were nothing to sneeze at. They were so in sync that there was no chance of them getting in each other's way. It reminded me of all those times I'd stayed over in there at their house in the old days. I got was one thing, but seeing Otro at work in my kitchen was a fresh sight. Without really meaning to, I felt my gaze drawn to her. Just making sure they're doing a good job. This was my territory, after all. My personal castle. Watching Otro's movements, she looked a little less confident than her sister. Couldn't help feeling a little concerned. 
こっちはもうすぐできるから。My ass flitted to Kotaru's hand as she picked up the kitchen knife. She'd be fine, right? <laughs> Kotaru gave a cute little squeak as she gripped the knife and got started. Chop, chop. Oh, he's really good at that. <laughs> I thought it was your mom who taught you how to cook. An egg slipped out of Kotaru's hand. Oh, Kasan, mo, she got it, she got it, she got it. Wow, that was an abrupt change of attitude! For a long, a fresh appetizing meal had been laid out for everyone. Working together, Hotaru and Aga had got the job done faster than I ever could. Let's see. It's been a while since someone else cooked, someone else cooked for me. It was probably best enjoyed while it lasted. Hi, Dozo. Thanks. Hotaru sat down next to me and started waiting on me, and it was the most natural thing in the world. Uh... Uh, hey, wait a minute! My arms aren't hurt! I can feed myself just fine! Oops, looks like you're feed me. <laughs> Like you care, you just want to make fun of me! You look like you're enjoying this too. And where did that camera come from? Look, like I said! I'm adding you out. Man, today was really taking it out of me, and it was still lonely morning. Hotaru trotted along beside me, full of that dutiful expression that was fast becoming her signature. With her came Kanako, who wasn't even trying to hide how much she was smirking. Her Kotori and the Kazuto sisters had already gone on ahead of us. So much for solidarity among friends. <sighs> Our footsteps echoed in the mellow morning air. My leg was... Well, I had to watch how I stepped to avoid setting it off. Just walking wasn't going to be a problem, but I was going to need to avoid any strenuous activity for today at least. My first stop was going to be uh, going to the nurse's office so I could get excused from the gym. <coughs> Keeping the white of my affected foot was one thing, but I didn't want to put too much of a burden on the other side either. As soon as I started walking a little awkwardly, Otro scuttled after me and produced a crutch from under her arm. Jesus Christ, Hotaru, what the fuck? <laughs> Girls, I can walk just fine. You're blowing this way, blowing this way out of proportion. Don't look so disappointed. I ruffled Hotaru's hair, but once it didn't seem to cheer her up. Kotaru had no, uh, no problem getting around campus in her chair, so it wasn't like a little pain in my leg would slow me down. <laughs> I guess stopped Hotaru from coming right into the classroom with me. Sorry about all this. <laughs> It's best to grin and bear it until she works through whatever she's struggling with. Uh, what? Hmm? Why did you not talk? Sure, I can do that. Probably. I don't think it'll get that bad. I'll just, I'm just sorry she feels like she needs to do this and uh, this in the first place. I'm not hurt that much. Ane としてはさ、まさか家でなんてと思ったし、うちの親も大慌てだけど、正直すげえって思ったところも結構あってさ、大胆なことするな、行動力すげえ。負けたっていうかなんというか。<laughs> 
<笑>はいはい気にしない気にしないまあともあれ葵の怪我が大したことないんなら私も安心だし悪いけど痛みが引くまで付き合ってやってくれると姉としては嬉しいなあでもあれけん But are you sure about letting her stay at the door? Ah, so I'm all kept easy. Go about that. Anoko ga anna ni jibun kara nani ka shitagatte るの hajime te mitan da. Right about that. What do we usually just followed w h e Aga and I led? If she was ever unsure, she was the type to just follow everyone else. She always burst into a sunny smile when we let her join in, though. Looking back on it, I couldn't remember a single time when Hutru had been the one to suggest what we should do. Honto wari ke do. I t e s t e a t e Sure. Let's go with some more practical. Put your back to your club activities a little more. Cut an eye. Emoto no Tameni Gambari Maska. My morning classes passed by without incident. During a break, I went to the nurse's office and got a new compress and some fresh, ba fresh bandages put on my leg. Wasn't gonna get any worse, just as long as I didn't do anything extreme, like try to catch a girl who fell from the sky. I don't know. Piling a glider then requires as much physical exertion as riding a bike, so I didn't think it would be a problem. But a glider wasn't the like of a land vehicle. In the air, a little, one little mistake could le mean the difference between life and death. Overconfidence was a killer. Really couldn't be careful enough. Wind d o v e got cut to the Seta in Toka, Master's Ten, no list. Yo, is to it. Thanks. I'll take a look at them heal on its own. What's Karesama Dista? At school, h o t t e r appeared at my had appeared at my side almost out of nowhere. Everyone else went off to club, but I headed home early to rest up. Ato, a Makaseta Makasareta. Hey, look. Mama. せっかくのご希望なんだから、コキ使ってやって。使って。Okay, sure. ちょっと kind of strange to walk back to the dorm with Hotoru next to me. I've known her a lot longer than Kotri and Takazato, so there was no real tension between the two of us. He didn't speak, but it was by no means an uncomfortable silence. It was fuck. This was just the way Hotoru was. I wasn't exactly a talkative type either, so it wasn't natural enough for us to both to stay quiet. When I eventually spoke up, Hotoru replied right away. Since I've got you here, I was thinking of trying something a little more advanced. I've been walking normally all day, right? What am I gonna do with you? Wasn't the point of this to make my life easier? You're really serious about this, huh? I don't remember her saying anything like that. Okay. Are you sure you can cook for a whole dorm full of people on your own? For a whole dorm full of people on your own? Really? I don't want you pushing yourself too hard. When I first took over, I was so rushed off my feet, I just made hot pot every night. <laughs> Man, you give up quick! You don't have to go that far. Just a little help here and there is fine. <laughs> By the time they got home, she knocked him out and proceeded to cook dinner. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> they really are staying here, huh? It's not like I don't want you here, but. I couldn't ignore how delicate a situation we had here. The waiting on me hand and foot thing was bad enough, but I had to find some way to convince Hotaru she wasn't responsible for all this. I think it over in the bath after dealing with the dinner preparations. That had been my plan, but. How did it turn out like this? 
Sure. I was lying down and Hotaru was massaging my bare leg. She gripped the flesh around my knee and started to knead it between her fingers. Uh... It's not bad, but... Yeah, I, I'm sure you know what you're doing. I see. There used to be an orthopedic clinic tucked away in one corner of the shopping district. I'd gone to him before uh, when I'd gone into an accident and dislodged a joint. That's really not the problem here. That, 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 that'd be even worse. Not exactly, but uh, you know... When she looked at me with her super serious look, look on her eyes, it was difficult for me to write out, come right out and say what I meant. What I'm trying to say is, if you really want to do something for me, this isn't what I choose. All this time, Hotaru had continued to work away on my leg, from my calf to my knee, and around to the back. I couldn't exactly flat out refuse her at this point. She'd probably get tired of it soon enough anyway. Okay, fine, the gentleman. With that, Hotaru returned to her massage. Hotaru's fingers worked her their way across my leg. Her touch was soft and warm. I was getting a little ticklish, ironically. This was making me feel even more intense. Squish, squish. Still, it was probably good for my muscles. Her hands traveled along my skin, stretching it here and there, making me more aware of the joints and bones underneath. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And on and on it went. The sensation was hard to describe. Not quite painful or ticklish or itchy, but somewhere in between all that. Then, things took a turn for the awkward. Otru leaned in for a closer grip on me. Now she was wrapped around my leg. If I moved even a little, I was going to bump right against her chest. Being as close to a girl was... Well... Shiny hair, the graceful line from her cheek to her throat, those delicate shoulders. I don't think I'd ever taken such a long, hard look at Hotaru since coming back to this town. I just considered her the same little girl she always used to... who always used to trail along behind me and her sister. When I was reunited with Algea, she was, seemed really proud of how she'd matured, physically anyway. And Hotaru, she wasn't a child anymore, either. She'd grown into a fine young woman. I said, jolt of pain cut through my... Sent, cut through my sentimental train of thought. Oh, oh, that was that. I mean, I mean, it wasn't really. In this case, it hadn't been the old injury, just my leg seizing up from a, a little from being in the same position for so long. Otto looked down hard for a moment, but continued to massage, taking care to move it to a different spot. Yeah, this area. I was feeling a different kind of pain. I knew my body well, and I knew this wasn't good. Putting too much weight on that spot might actually do some serious damage. And right there, that's where the problem is. Cool. She touched it more gently this time, tentatively seeking out just the right spot. Set the weird shiver running up my spine. Y yeah, right, right there. I think that's where the pain is. So, yeah, this The Hotaru's hands tenderly caressed my skin. Uh, She went slowly and carefully, doing her best to not set off any weird, uh, any painful spots. The palms and fingers exploring all over. Uh, you can put a little more force into it there if you want. You could no longer call this a massage. It felt less focused and more intimate. I began to tremble all over, struggling not to think in pure thoughts about sweet and distant Hotaru. I'm sure these desires were perfectly natural for a healthy, red-blooded young man like myself, but this wasn't the time or the, or the place. <laughs> Not the way I should have phrased, would have phrased it. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't remember this was Hotaru. It wasn't her fault. I was reading too much into her words and actions. I took a deep breath to steady my nerves and push back those dirty thoughts. I think maybe it's better like this. I placed my hand over Hotaru's. Uh, about this hard is fine. Put in just the right amount of pressure. <sighs> Hotaru gave out a little squeak with each squeeze. Uh, I'd like it if you could keep that up. Yes. Is that okay? Won't tire you out or anything, will it? Huh. 
my hand away. What did it look like she was spacing out? I don't know why it's t t fucking did a stab with a blunt object. Don't 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 exactly make much sense, does it? Squeeze, squeeze. She was putting more power into her massage now. Ugh, that feels good. Keep going. <clears throat> she continued kneading the flesh of my leg. You knew what that it wasn't as strong as me. She had put a lot of effort into it and her breathing was getting a little ragged. Not a thought about it. Seeing her through so out of breath was a pretty unusual sight. Since going back, I'd never seen her physically exert herself very much. She never ru she never run around the rest of us uh, ran to avoid being late or stuff like that. I felt like I was witnessing something that was a secret from the rest of the world. <laughs> I've been struggling for a while now to keep my mind out of the gutter. For her part, Rotter was starting to flush and her body was getting close and close to the mine. <laughs> this was getting way too sketchy. I mm. singly shot at my head to stop towards my phone. <laughs> Otter took a break and tried to catch her breath. That was a close one. Hi, Aga! I hope that uh, didn't sound too flustered. Dinner? Sure, no problem. Otter can help me out. Well, what did I say? Huh? Uh, wait a minute. What are you suggesting? <laughs> Of course. I'll say that you're a sister. Great, now Holter was trying to stand up for- No, oh, her face was close! Trying to snatch your phone away completely if I hadn't put it on the loudspeaker. あおいと何してた。マッサージしてあげてました。ああ、山崎のおっちゃんに習ってたのそれか。やりすぎちゃダメだよ。素人なんだからね。はい。悪化させたら本末転倒。そんな子は家に連れ戻すから。はい。That's going a little far. Okay, but ease up a little. She means well and she's doing her best. I know, trust me, I'm more concerned about this than anyone. But trust Hot but I trust Hotru. I know she wouldn't do anything to hurt me. はい。じゃあ、やっぱ、コンマそっち行くのやめるわ。ホタルいないならお父さんに。そうだね。濡れた枕をお母さんが干すことに。さあ、emotionally <笑><笑> That's enough massages for one day, thanks. Anyhow, I got dinner to cook, so I'd like to get out. Hotaru meekly withdrew. Huh? Stuff about me trusting you? It's true, you know. Pat Hotaru on the head. Her face went beet red. Okay, I'm gonna go get dressed. She slinked off somewhat reluctantly. Hey, yeah, uh, maybe you can give me a massage again some other time. Her face lit up into a bright smile. Thought it was cute. And easy to read, too. That was the time I'd usually deal with any chores I didn't have time for in the morning. Today, Hotter took charge of the clean- Fuck. Of the 
cleaning while I sorted through the dorm's mail. I preferred being on the move. I wasn't used to sitting still like this for so long. Thanks. Put her shoulder to vacuum and walked up the stairs. I watched her go until she was out of sight. The slender legs of hers were real pretty. Outwardly, she was completely different from the little hotel we had known before. But he had to stop thinking of her as a little kid. Mash convinced Hotru to let me help make dinner. I couldn't let you do it all on your own, besides I'm used to this work. Hey, this is probably the first time we've cooked together, isn't it? Hey, watch your hand! No looking around while- No looking away by holding a knife! That's an iron glad law of the kitchen! Ah! Must have had a bad misstep because right uh, then the old pain flared up again. Oni? <clears throat> yeah. Put all my efforts into masking the pain. Is she buying it? Ah, you stopped! You can't let yourself get distracted when you have a knife in your hand. Hi. Let's hurry up, everyone will be home soon! The conversation died after that. We have prepared the rest of the meal nearly in complete silence. Hotaru kept a close eye on me the whole time. Tadaima! Tadaima desu! Modorimashita! Everyone arrived all at once. Welcome home, everybody! No one was especially surprised to see Hotaru. I had told them about the situation already. Despite that, <sighs> this was an uncomfortable silence. Without Akia here to take the lead, no one really knew how to approach her. Hotru herself was so shy, she spent most of her time hiding behind me. Well, this was awkward. Okay, good to see you all. Dinner will be ready in no time, for, no, no time at all. <sighs> Hotru let out a little sigh of relief and patted her head. <laughs> Don't have anything to apologize for. Aga's Aga, nothing wrong with being yourself. No one's expecting you to be exactly like her. Just relax and go with her. <laughs> My guess was she felt like an outsider, not being one of the original dorm <laughs> residents. Welcome back. ねえ、おいくん。ホタルちゃん、借りてっていい部屋のお掃除手伝ってもらおうと思って。いろいろ畳んでほしいものとかあるし。Do in progress. Moved to intercept her, but Kanako stopped me with a look. かわいい、かわいいホタルちゃん。こう見えてもお姉さん。かわいい子が大好きなのさ。目いっぱい可愛がっちゃいますよ。Hotaru reached out a hand towards me, begging for help. It was all in vain. Kanako dragged her away and disappeared into her room. Yikes. What have you been showing her in there? Yeah, we can't afford any more eccentrics around here. <laughs> She's too pure for, to fall for your tricks. What did I say earlier, Kanako?
course not. Magaita. Yarashi. Oni. Mitaino? Not you two. Mataku. Hotaricha. Kotinikinasai. Demo. Gardono Hitsunga Arimas. So Chigawa, Joshkiji Mitanikiko. No. Mitai. Janakte so nan deskido. Kanako and I sat down on the opposite side of the table where Kotori and the others. All the others. I'm excluded too! There's only two of us on the side. Maybe if we find it out with Kotori, everything will be fine. But maybe if you find it out with Kotori, everything will be fine. Kotori-chan, Real yeah, well, that's still her. her. That's still her line. Hokotowari. Watashi no se? Sochi no hito no se yo? Kini shi nai de? You're including me in that? Naoni wa hentai ja nai desu. Who said I was? <laughs> Everyone was having fun. That look Kanako gave me earlier. She must have seen how awkward Hotter was around the others. It was her way of helping her blend in. My mind, I apologize for doubting her. The next day, I suggested Hotaru and I go to Windy after school. Yeah, my leg should be fine as long as I take it easy. Just be walking around and stuff, so it won't be anything strenuous. <laughs> Two of us sat down on a bench and watched the other students passing by. What do you think of your first day at the dorm? <laughs> Last night, Hutra had looked about ready to pass out. She was asleep almost a minute, her head hit the pillow. It was a lot to take in. She was away from home and with so many people around. She must have been exhausted by the end of the day. Don't apologize. You haven't done anything wrong. Hmm. We'll get used to it soon enough. People are more adaptable than, adaptable than you give them credit for. But... She's a special case, don't measure yourself against her. Okay, stop right there. No comparing yourself to your sister. That's not going to get you anywhere. Aga is a completely different person. She has her own way of doing things. It's not like there is a fixed time for getting used to stuff. It's something that just happens naturally. You ran away and forced yourself on me already. What happened to all that confidence? Believe it. You can be pretty strong when you want to be. I've been thinking this for a while now, but I, you should try to have a little more confidence in yourself. Everyone has their own idea about what kind of people they are, right? After all, we know our own bodies and their limits better than anyone else. Sometimes a crisis or something can force us to do stuff we never thought we'd be able to do. That's kind of what happened here, don't you think? So... Come on. You had that confidence all along. You just needed the right circumstances to motivate you. You're capable of doing lots of impressive stuff, Hotoro. So have a little more faith in yourself. Mm. Like I keep saying... Fuck. Like I keep saying, there's no rush. But think about it, okay? I try to bring out the best in you a little at a time. Yeah. yeah. How about we try something new right now? Hmm? Now you're probably happy to follow me wherever. But how about you pick a place here in Wendy's what, that you want to go to? Yeah. Pick anything. If you've got plenty of time. Forget about me and think about what you want to do for a change. What you want to do for a change. Oh, but Flags is out, okay? I'm not made of money. Hi. Hmm. She looked disappointed. <laughs> Cafe Flags served some great food, but it was way more expensive than I could afford. Apart from that, I'll grant any demand you want to make. That was quick. Does that mean you didn't really want to come here after? Come here at all? I'm just saying, if I came here with Agia or Kotri or any other girls, they drag me around all kinds of places. You're the only one who'd hold back. 
Go on, live a little. Oh, God, Mama. I don't want to hurry you. Just try to think of some before we head home. Your mind moves fast. Huh? Oh? What through shuffled a little closer? She rested her head against my arm. When you're relaxed and content, she closed her eyes. Uh, Otaru? Hmm. Otaru came closer and rested her whole frame against me. I could feel the heat of her body. I. Uh, is this? She's fucking going for it. Whoops, <laughs> fuck. Huh? She leaned in even closer. Oh. Tame? No, no, that, that's fine. You smell really nice. The pulse is starting to quicken. <laughs> she smelled really nice. It's just you, you gotta read it like that. You gotta read it like a total creep. I was getting. It was no longer just hold through his body heat. I was getting hot and flustered too. This feeling was a little strange. The way we were just then felt sort of like a date. Your boyfriend and girlfriend? I guess that was how we looked, what we looked like. No, obviously, I liked Hotaru. Cared about her a lot, but I'd never thought of her that way before. Here we were, looking very much like we were out on a date. And when passing by, I would think we are. We were. We were about the same age, we looked pretty happy together. It was natural, they'd think that. I stiffened up, feeling myself start to sweat. Well, technically, I wasn't actually sweating, but my pulse and breathing were both speeding up. Hotaru didn't move. Obviously, she hadn't noticed any change in me. Not too warm, I hope. Hmm, I couldn't ask her to back up now. It wasn't like I wanted her to move away from me. Staying like this was a little embarrassing, but the beating of my heart was only getting faster. Hey, uh, remember the old days when this place was still a shopping district? Mm. Used to come here a lot. Mm. Did you actually enjoy it? Oh, no, Fuck. You didn't just come along because it was where Aki and I were going, did you? Yeah, Tatsu seemed, Tatsu, uh, Anchan seemed really cool to me back then. Oh. I always thought Aki was the coolest out of us back then. I was pretty jealous of her. Yeah, she was pretty. Uh, she was better at sports and stuff than the boys. She had a lot of fans in our class. <laughs> we're more like a girly girl to me. We're the princess of the group. <laughs> Fuck. We were all. We all did our best to not get you in trouble. Into trouble. Thank <laughs> Hmm, seeing you with a more sporty look would be interesting, I guess. Nah, I don't think so. Otro wasn't the only one who would fire off quick replies. Who could fire off quick replies. It'd be kind of a novelty, but it wouldn't be the real you like you are now. I'm much more interested in the person you are now, and you're going to grow and change from here on. Mm. Otro smiled, losing her face into my arm. Sudden urge to give her a hug washed over me, but this wasn't the place. At the time, or the place. You can never really tell what life is going to throw at you. I never thought I'd come back to this town or get involved in a sport other than cycling. Then that accident had forced me to seek out something new, which eventually led me to Soaring Club. Never could have seen that coming. And hold through, I'd been even more of a surprise. Could have thought you'd have gotten this cute. She looked at me as if she'd read my mind, instinctively avoided her gaze. I could still feel her eyes on me, like she could see my innermost thoughts laid bare. Was I blushing? 
Ah, no. 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 You're better now. What do you want for dinner tonight? Aoni. Cut that out. Still, must be fine if you're feeling good enough to make jokes. Both of her shuffled away from me, looking refreshed and confident in a way I'd never seen before. She stood up and twirled around. Her skirt fanned out and fluttered. Couldn't help fixating on it. I caught my breath. <laughs> both of and I both laughed. Why do you so we go shopping for tonight's meal? All of a sudden, we were holding hands. It reminded me of the old days. The days before Wendy's when we used to play and hang out and hang around in Kazagawa's shopping district. I mean, now our hands were a little bigger. These were more soft, and slender, and... Fuck. <laughs> Yaha! Hanging out here today, huh? Gohan, お父さんの枕無事それが心配ならさっさと戻ってきなさいうんおいおしわ先生フォーノープルーブメントそっか今度の週末どう終わったドクターパッタイちょっとセットウェイトシーフォーアルベットルロングテンキも今一っぽいし
そもそもそれを言うなら、青井くんはどうなる So I ended up playing host for a whole crowd of people. Ah! <laughs> the kitchen had become a battleground as we struggled to make enough for everyone. Even with Aga and Hotoru moving fast enough to become little more than blurs, I could see we were going to have trouble. I wished I could help them, but I didn't want to agitate my leg. All I could do was watch. It sucked. I couldn't help but wonder if there was something I could do. Right! Technically, you're my guests too. I feel bad making you work while I just sit around. I don't know. But I left the kitchen to join the others. ほたるがな。だよな。ほたるが自分の意思で何かやってるなんて初めて見たかも。Okay, <laughs> Maybe I'll ask Akari what she thinks. Matta,お願いまて。お前は変わらないな。安心するけど。Bullying. Just kidding. That's just friendly teasing. Uh, time flies when we're having fun. Then it was over before I knew it, and everyone went back to their own rooms. Eventually, I'll get left too. Oh. Same here. Hey, what are you doing here? No need to go that far. You must be tired too. Go change out of your uniform and take a break. You know, it's time. Then the pitching in in the kitchen when things were at the busiest. Sure enough, it has set off the pain in my leg. So much for taking it easy. I should have known better. Sure. I'm oh, just finding it. Let out my leg for Hotaru to massage. She was getting better at this. Part of it was knowing where the pain was, but her technique and her awareness of my li limits had improved too. That feels good. Uh, can I get that up? She worked and kneaded at my leg. Ah, oh, that's just right. Oh, you can't be too gentle or it won't work. Sure. The pain came and went again and again, but it wasn't so bad now that my leg didn't have to support the weight on my body. It felt like the pain was gradually getting shaved down, uh, covering a smaller and smaller area. Don't feel like you have to keep this up for too long. You need to get some rest yourself. <laughs> That's so. Uh, there wasn't much I could say to persuade her when she got the serious. Sat back for a while longer, the only sound in the room, that of Hotaru's ragged breathing. No, Masan's Anshan set, set this today too, but you've changed a lot since we were kids. Especially in the last few days. Whoops. It's really impressive. I should do. Of course. I can't take all the credit. I gave you a push, and I just gave you a push in the right direction. It's like when you water plants to get flowers. The water helps, but the potential to grow is in the plant the whole time. You always had it in you to grow like this. Take some pride in that. That said, I think you were pretty charming in the way you were, too. Plenty charming, I mean. Huh? Uh, but, uh, not, not that I, but I'm wishing you didn't make an effort to change or anything. How did I put this? I think you're cute now and always have been, too. We're all grown up, and it's surprising how different you are now. Hotaru's hand came to a stop. She looked me dead in the eyes. My heart started to pound. Like, you're a lot prettier now. You can't just go around patting your head all the time anymore. Your smile vanished. Faced with that passionate gaze, I wasn't sure how to react. Well, if you're sure. 
I took a break from the massage session. I reached out my hand to Krotero's head. I realized it'd be awkward to stay in my current posture. I tried to lean forward a little. The knee holder I'd been massaging came forward with me, and then... Squish. <laughs> Something soft pressed against me. <laughs> I'm sorry! I quickly pulled my leg away. My arms started windmilling around as I tried to regain my balance and not fall backwards. <laughs> Otter reached out and grabbed my arm and helped steady me. Then we just kind of looked at each other. Otter's eyes were glistening with moisture. Her hand was slightly sweaty, just as, and just as warm as the intense gaze she turned on me. Y yeah? <laughs> I could see tears forming in the corners of her eyes. Her voice was shaking, like she was having trouble forcing the words out. Okay, uh... Aoi, fucking hug her! <laughs> what, like I'd have to go to the hospital or do a rehab program, program or something? Nice. I gulped. Just knew I was blushing now, and it was so warm you could fry an egg on my forehead. Ah! Overwhelmed by what she'd said, Hotru started to freak out and fell forward. Ah, careful! I caught her in my arms. She was still conscious, but she was acting all spacey like she might collapse again any moment. Her voice sounds fine, though. sounded fine, though. Yeah. ほかにそういう人がいるなら仕方ありません邪魔するつもりもありませんすごくちょっとくらいけどまあ、really、like、I Oh, right. It all made sense now. Utro always has, well, had always been focused on me. Not Ancha, not Mazutsugu, but me. It's not like I hadn't noticed. I always thought she just looked up to me as a big brother figure. But I thought of, and I thought of her as a little sister. Or at least I assumed that's well, how it would feel to have a younger sister. But I'd been wrong. If his feelings towards me weren't purely platonic after all, they were something different possibly stronger, hence why she went so far as to move in with me the moment I got hurt. For a girl who was usually so shy and retiring, that must have, been ta must have taken an incredible amount of courage. It was just how much Hotter cared about me, I guess. I'd been living under the same roof with her, but I'd only just noticed. But I knew how she felt now. She didn't see me as a brother. She liked me in a different way. What about me? How did I feel about her? Did I feel bad? Knowing she felt that way about me? No. Did I want her to stop feeling that way? No. Did I still think of her as a sister? Nope! I wasn't sure exactly how, when things had changed. Uh, maybe it was when she was massaging my leg or I started, and I started to think of how much she changed. Maybe it was when her face was so close to mine and I started noticing how elegant her features were. Maybe... Maybe it was when I first came back to the town and met her at her family store. Not true. Maybe she wasn't a sporty, talkative kind of girl. Chatting and having a good time with others didn't come naturally to her. I always enjoyed the time I spent with her. Even when the conversations got a little stilted, it was fun just being around her. Like that time on the bench. We didn't need words. Might have looked boring to other people, but for me it was a nice, simple memory. It was peaceful. I was with Hotaru, I could relax. Knowing how she felt about me, that she had this much passion inside her, it made me really happy. And I wanted to do my best to live up to her feelings, no longer as a brother figure, but as a man 
Cradle hooked his cheeks in my pa cheek in my pa in the palm of my hand. Pony. Yeah. Stay by my side. Actually, it's more like I want you to be. I want to be with you too. Let's do it. We'll stay together, you and me, forever. Or at least, or as much as we can, at least. You sure you're fine with me? Hi. But through his eyes were wide open now, unleashing all the tears she'd been holding back. Couldn't just watch and let her slump to the floor. I brought her face close to my face close to hers and licked her cheek. What? <laughs> You'd expect him to go for a kiss? Not to lick her cheek. What the fuck? Mate, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh. She jerked back in surprise. But the next moment she'd reached out to put her hand on mine. Her lips tenderly came together again and again. She wrapped her arms around me and hugged me tight. The shiver of pleasure coming all the way from around my back where she touched me. Something in me snapped. I couldn't hold myself back. I returned the hug, holding her close as our lips continued to meet, sharing kiss after kiss. I bathed in the warmth of her slender body, luxuriating in the smell of her shampoo. It was like a lid that had been thrown off, letting all the searing hot emotion roam free. This was real. I thought through the nestled right here in my arms. Seem to pick up on my feelings, tight. <gasps> uh! Tightening her hold on me. This was a massage. Hey, I hugged her back. Her body's pressed together. I could f fuck. I could feel her chest against mine. Her lips layered over one another again and again. When we came apart. Both of her eyes were drooping as if she were about to pass out, but her breathing was fast and shallow. Probably looked the same. What to do? We briefly gasped each other's name before kissing again. Yeah, I want to be with you forever. Of course, a lot more grown up now. I know that better than anyone. I know that better. Better than ever, especially now that we're up close and personal like this. We pressed in for another kiss. Felt something warm and wet. Uh, wet and warm inside my mouth. Huh? It was like an explosion in my mind. I experienced my f first kiss only moments ago, but this already topped it. This was... That was... Hotaru's tongue. Who knew a tongue could be so sweet? That it could feel so good. Stop that. We sank back into a new kissing rhythm. Our bodies were trembling. It felt great. Hotaru felt so light. It smelled so fragrant. But it was so warm. And it was like all of her emotions were being translated into heat. She clung on to me tight. Squeezed her back and ruffled her hair. I gave her one last kiss before I had to catch my breath. <laughs> As soon as those words were out of her mouth, Hotaru blushed deeply and tried to dive under the covers to hide. I cut her off and turned her way, head my way. Unstoppable stealth kiss! <laughs> as soon as Hotaru seemed to get even warmer, the power draining out of, draining out of her as she gave herself up in a moan. <laughs> as time went on, Hotaru seemed to get even warmer, the power draining out of her as she gave herself up in the moment. One last kiss and I pulled away. Hotaru, you'd be my girlfriend. It seemed like a redundant question at this point. Hotaru had already taken the lead, but I still felt like I needed to ask. It was just a reply I'd been expecting. We were embraced once more, sealing the deal with a deep kiss. I wished we could have stayed like, like, like this forever. It was already dawn by the time we finally fell asleep, wrapped in that soothing peace that came from being near one another. So they fucked, is what you're trying to say. Pretty sure that's all ages for they fucked. So Hotaru and I were now officially an item. Oh, it's a lot better now. That's true. 
A lot of that dope pain still remained, but since last night it was a lot less serious. Must be all that kiss therapy. It's wonders for your health. <laughs> Sleeping in the same bed really helps soothe my body and mind too. <laughs> Watch, you must be right now. Sorry, did I go too far? I was going to have to start being more aware of what I say in public. I was, I was saying in public. What's up? Oh, back with what? Just the shoulder? You okay with the hand on the waist? On your waist then? <laughs> How about holding your clothes and whispering the sweet nothings in your ear? I think we should kiss right now. <laughs> Sorry. Even I think I went too far that time. This was all going to take some getting used to. This was Otru we were talking about. I wasn't expecting her to start suddenly start getting all lovey-dovey in front of people. If she did, I'd be the one getting flustered. That was what, wasn't what I wanted from Otru anyway. How about we get going now? Now for my hand, Otru. She took it. A cheery smile spread across her face. This was, this was fine. This is all I wanted. I could protect that lovely smile. That was good enough for me. So give her a hand a squeeze. So we could solidify that feeling in, pe in peace. In, in, or in place? In place. Breakfast, breakfast. Gotta make some breakfast. Even after the deluge of dinner guests uh, last night, I couldn't afford to rest now. These chores went towards my salary after all. Fortunately, we'd already cleaned everything up yesterday, so today it was just business as usual. <sighs> that had a yawn. Oh, oh that was supposed to be a yawn. I actually had to yawn, exact. That, like, that was, this is not a show yawn, I actually really had to yawn. I blame Hotaru. Hotaru fought to keep down one of her own. I didn't get a lot of sleep in the end, huh? Hotaru blushed and looked at the floor. Are we getting things ready? The other dorm residents got up, uh, got, all got up and filed in. This was gonna be fine, right? No one knew what happened last night, right? We were super quiet. There was no way they'd have heard, even if we were awake, if they were awake at the time. Otru must have been thinking the same thing. She looked at me questioningly, as if she were, as if she were fighting back tears. Uh, just like normal, natural. This is nothing to be ashamed of. Don't forget you're my girlfriend now, and I'm proud. How about a response? Oh, morning hat. If hat was here, then that meant. Ohayo. Morning. O Ohayo gozaimasu. Hmm. Hmm. Kotri cast a suspicious gaze at Hotaru. Hotaru moved to try to hide behind me, then stopped and stood firm. Panni, nani ka tsukemasu ka? Good job, Hotaru! That must have taken a lot of courage! was still grasping my sleeve for comfort, though. Mm? Yoru's eyes rested on where Hotaru's hand was. She didn't say anything, though. Just sat down on her, at her regular seat. Mm -hmm. Gotta go look back and forth between me and Hotaru. Mm -hmm. So I'm wrong. This time Hotaru really, di really did retreat behind me. Oh, when facing now, kind of course, this, that was probably the best choice. Yeah. Got something to say? Well, it's not like we're trying to hide it. Put her throughout and position her beside me. Uh -huh. Attention everyone, Hotaru and I are now going out. There, I came right out and said it. What else could I do? I mean, it, if it take too long about going public with a relationship, people might have gotten the wrong idea. Hotaru was my first ever girlfriend. I couldn't deny that I was excited to tell people about her. I'd planned all this out in my head beforehand. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's that. Once the words were out, I wasn't quite sure what to say next. My cheeks burned red and I started uh, started sweating. And it's been a mistake! Unable to look anyone in the eye, I faced the floor and tried to get my breathing under control. Huh? <laughs> I, like, I, was, I, I was confused because I thought that was that was Yoru because I'm more used to that expression on Yoru's face. 
<laughs> but then I noticed the ribbons. It was like, wait, hold on. All right, this was not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, the cheer. They're going out now, and well, I just wanted to let you all know. Yes. What's going on here? Huh? あの昨日の夜あたり怪しいなって思ってたんだけど、で、告白はどっちから？ま、え、that's Congrats! <laughs> that that that's it. That's the title. Congrats! Just congrats! Just fucking let me. Don't cast the gear, no more. Tsumi, yo, hurry up! Kizu, ita agenasai. Right. To put her arm in mine and close the distance between us just a little. At least uh, that was out in the open now. The only one left to tell was. Oh, Speak of the devil. Oh, no, Nico, looked away, blushing and clutching my sleeve harder than ever. Oh. Mm. <laughs> again, Hotter worked that strange sisterly telepathy, telepathy again. His gaze roamed all, all around the two of us. <laughs> I got placed a comforting hand on her sister's trembling head and tussled her hair. Honestly, God, now that I've done this route, I'll probably hate Agel's route even more. Yeah, I'll normally hate her around even more if I were to go over her now. Since it's basically confirmed, yeah, Hotaru is like to likes him in every route. Which already makes all the other routes painful. But Agion's route is probably gonna have a like, very intimate relationship with that fact. And it's gonna be pain. Aoi! Yeah. <laughs> Do you heard that? Of course. Yes, sure. Casually put an arm around Hotaru's shoulder. Yeah, don't you trust me? Anyways, I'm gonna end the part here. That's like uh, how I'm. Uh, uh, I feel like that's a that was a good way to handle like these parts for the girls to have like full routes for them. Just go up to the confession one scene after until there it's out in the air. Then end the part. That seems to make good links parts. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you next time. Bye-bye.